Hello. Today I want to discuss about a number theory problem that appeared in Inma 2021. It is really a nice example of how to solve number theory questions by just looking at parity. We just have to check parity of numbers, like check modulo 2. These things are really elementary. You don't have to do much more than that. So this will give you a general idea to how to just use parity checking in number theory questions. This will have a lot of applications in other number theory questions also as well. So the question says, well, I have R greater than 2 is an integer. M1, M1, comma, M2, comma, N2, dot, 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 MR, comma, NR are two are integers. I have mod of MINJ minus MJNI is always one for all I less than J. Then I have to find the maximal possible value of one. This video is sponsored by Chinta.com. Since 2010, Chinta has trained thousands of students from all around the world in mathematical olympiads, physics olympiads, computer science and informatics olympiads, ISI CMI entrances, and research projects for school and college students. So the key idea of the solution is I have to check parity because I have see I have mod of MINJ minus MJNI is always 1. So MINJ minus MJNI can never be even. That is the key idea. So I when if for, for all values of MINJ such that this quantity becomes even, I have to omit those cases. And this will and asking what are the possible values of R is same as how many mi comma ni pairs are possible. For that we can do parity checking of the pairs like how many different parity pairs can repeat like how many odd even pairs can possible how many even even pairs are possible. Let's see this. I have mod of mi nj minus mj ni equal to 1 for all i can be 1 j is strictly greater than i but j is strictly less than r now let's see how many ordered pairs can occur how many even even pairs can occur can a pair mi comma ni be even is it possible let's see if it is possible but if it is possible, then for such a pair, pick any j not equal to i. Say j less than or greater than, it doesn't matter. For any j not equal to i, and also not r, that would mean what? Mi nj minus mj ni. What about this quantity? Mi is even, and ni is also even. So, no, it's not even, it is even, comma, even. This quantity is even. This quantity is also even. That would give me the total quantity is even. And that is a contradiction. So the total quantity can never be even. So from there what we can see? The even even pair can never occur. This is a good observation. Now see. So all pairs that can occur is odd odd. We haven't seen that whether they can occur or not. But these are the only possibilities. Odd 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 even and even odd now let's see whether a pair can repeat or not let's say a pair let's say a parity repeats so for that we have 2 i not equal to j and we have parity of m i comma n i and m j comma m j are same same parity means what mi is same as mj modulo 2 ni is same as nj modulo 2 now again what you can say about the a pair in the expression mi nj minus mj ni mi is congruent to mj and ni congruent to nj so this is congruent to i can just See, congruence is an equivalence relation, so I can just replace by these numbers. So I can replace mi by mj 
and nj is nj and i can replace by ni to be nj this is again mj nj and this is convert to 0 mod 2 so this quantity becomes even so it, this is again a contradiction because this modulus is 1 and no even numbers modulus can be 1 so this is again a contradiction so from that what can you get even if a odd dot or odd even or even odd pair occurs it can occur at most once like the no odd dot pair no odd even pair no even odd pair can repeat among the mi comma ni's so r can be at most three because we can have one odd dot pair one odd even pair and one even odd pair this gives me r equal to three and for r greater than 3, like say r equal to 4 or r equal to 5, I have to include one more pair. But it can be neither of odd or odd even, even odd. It can, it also can never be even comma even. So we, we cannot get any suitable pair. So r can be at most 3. Now, let's see, we have to see that r equal to 3 works. So for that example, this, you can easily find it out that for r equal to 3, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 5. This pair also works well. Or there are other pairs also. You can find a lot of them like 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. This also a good pair. So, what we conclude from this? Max value of R is 3. And that is the answer. And we are done. Chinta programs are designed for students who are passionate about mathematics. And they are personalized with one-on-one -on -one training, individual evaluation, and remedial sessions. The reason Chinta students are successful over the last 10 years because they are taught by mathematicians and real Olympiads from leading universities in India, United States, and Europe. Some of our students come back to teach at Chinta from Oxford, Cambridge, Harvard, MIT, UCLA, ISI, CMI, IITs, TIFR, and IISC. For more information, visit chinta.com.